His career is ruined. Nobody in America will hire him. Kemi Oluloyo Blast Daily Trust reporter. Dr. Kemi Oluloyo has weighed in her own opinion on the trending issue that occurred between former Minister of Aviation, Chief Femi Fane Kayode, and a journalist. The former minister has come under serious criticism for the kind of words he used on the journalist during a press conference he was having in Calabar, Cross River State. In the video that has gone viral, Fanny Coyote is seen giving the journalist Ayo Charles a dressing down for asking him a stupid question. The journalist had asked Fanny Coyote who was bankrolling his recent travels around the southern state. But the former minister get irritated by his question and said he was stupid. What type of stupid question is that? Bankrolling who? Do you know who you are talking to? I will not take any question from this man. Was Fanny Coyote's angry response. He also angrily charged the reporter to tell him who can give him money, asking him to go and report himself to his publisher and never to judge him, Femi Fane Coyote, by his own standards. In support of Femi Fane Coyote's action against the Daily Trust reporter, Dr. Kemi Oluloyo took to a Twitter to air her own view in a post that blasted Nigerian journalists. Although many have condemned Femi Fani Kayode's outburst, Dr. Kemi Oloyo believes that such question is unwarranted and that is her 26 years of journalism and over 1,000 news conferences. No American can ask a politician who is bankrolling him in a news conference. Thank you for listening to this news of a truth, my viewers, of a truth. The journalist actually asked questions that doesn't matter. Unnecessary question, that's what will cause such a question. So, um, I would say that the journalist didn't think well, didn't think well, or has refused to go through the biography of Femi Fane Coyote before saying what he said. Well, the answer given to Fem given the answer Femi Fane Coyote gave to the journalist, yes, I would say was a little bit rude, but he deserves it. He deserves it. So at next time, he will learn to do his job well. You know, some persons doesn't um, understand this profession very well, journalism, called journalism. They just love the profession for loving sake, but don't have it as a skill. They don't want to learn. They just don't want to learn. They just want to love it. Because others are doing it, let me do it. That's just them for you. And that's what they are facing till now. And it's totally wrong. If you're a journalist, information should be your friend. Information should not be handled anyhow. It should not be entreated like an, like an ordinary figure. Even a figure, they don't joke with the figure. Because if you joke with the figure, you, you miss out the line. They say information is wealth. Information is greatness. With information, you can destroy the reputation of, inf of, of, of someone. With information, you can elevate and promote someone. With information, you can gain breakthrough. So that's why you don't joke with information as a journalist. So you don't, you should be careful with how you handle information and use information. So journalists, journalists in general, should take information as a very vital tool that should not be joked with. You understand? That should not be joked with. So it's so painful that our Nigerian government our Nigerian uh, journalists don't understand the significance 
and all the importance of journalism. They don't. They, thought, they just think it's an ordinary um, profession. They thought it's an ordinary profession. You understand? And it's so painful. Look at Kemi lawyer. So you see how he, he, he has fooled himself. She has fooled herself. You see, the many times she messed herself up before people. You understand now? You know? Due to uh, the, the wrong information that she has been putting up on air. Now, no one will want to visit her blogging page or even pay attention to any of her write-ups because of the many errors that she has committed. You understand? So that's why we have to be careful. If you want to be a good journalist, you ask reasonable questions. So, when you can only answer to this journalist, I will say, serve him right. Next time, you should think well, no, screen well, then analyze well before releasing any question either verbally or, or in written. You understand? And to other journalists, let them learn from this, from this, uh, from this uh, uh, information. Let them learn from this, from uh, uh, kind of this issue with this journalist. You understand? So please, my viewers, um, don't hesitate to leave your own comment concerning this issue because they are very, very important and vital to this channel. All right? Especially to Nigerians. Don't hesitate to leave them behind. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.